Boca Chodas. I start every Bengali thing off with a Bengali curse word. And the only one I, I need to learn another one. What's another one? Just say it. Don't just say I, it. I know the one you just thought of. Just say it. That's it. No, no, that's Hindi though. No, Hindi is Bancho. Ah, uh, Bancho. <laughs> Hi. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. I know Bancho. Yeah, I know that one. They're, Hindi and Bengali have a lot of similarities. Yeah, really. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to Corbin. Hi. I'm Rick. Today, she's my, and Drani's over there going, what have I done? I shouldn't have told that. I know, your voice saying it. I know. Uh, anyways, today we're doing a movie review. You little hellions. And uh, right off the bat, forgive us for bad math. Yeah. No, okay, so you, you probably saw the title and you're like, yeah. hey, hey, I thought it was hey, 1980s. Hey, foul! Foul! See what happened was it's not a classic. I told Rick and Andrani, I was like, "Hey, we're gonna watch Sachi Rai next for for uh, Classic Month," and Andrani got excited, and I was like, "Is there anyone that you would want to watch?" And she was like, "The Stranger," and I was like, "Oh, that was on my list." And without thinking, because I was like, uh, "Sachi Rai's old. All of his films are probably all of his films are nineteen eighty. This was not." And I apologize. It's still old. Yeah, I uh, basically said I texted Corbin. I said. Shouldn't we like, can't we like qualify if it's a, over a quarter of a century old, it's still it can be a classic. It's still 30 years old. Yeah. But I do apologize. Uh, I didn't think about it before I said yes. Uh, regardless, we were going to watch a Sachin and Rai film. So eventually, we might as well have been this one. Exactly. Um, anyways, but we watched the 1990, 1991 film, uh, The Stranger, or is there a Bengali title for it? Yes. That one, yeah. Aguntuk. 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 A fool of a took. Yeah, full of a took. <laughs> um, it's directed <laughs> and written by and composed yes. by Sachit. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that was. And starring, you know, read those uh, names for me. Utpil Dutt, Tapankar Day, Mamata Shankar, Bikram Bhattacharya, uh, Ravi Ghosh, Dritam Chatterjee. And it's basically a a film about a, a guy who comes to meet a family. He's never really met this, his niece before, and he's like the only family he has. It's been and, 35 years and since he's been in It's basically this Bengal. random guy coming to this person's house and figuring out if he's actually who he is. Exactly. And obviously, with all the classics, we assume you've seen it. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Come back. Um, yes, but Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Well... I have two paragraphs. Two paragraphs! <laughs> <laughs> so, in its most elevated state, cinema, like all incarnations of theater, is about humanity. What it means to be a human being and what it means for all of us to share in this collective human experience. And artistry, in its most elevated state, is about the sharing of the self. The whole self being shared with the rest of us, preferably proverbial warts and all. And most great artists take the same journey in both life and in their artistry. It begins reaching outward and ends looking inward. Satyajit Rai is one of the most human film directors the world will ever have the pleasure of knowing, and The Stranger is, to my view, not only his most profoundly personal work, but very likely his best. Whereas it seems other, um, every other Rai film is a masterclass on what it means to be a learning and growing being, striving for excellence while remaining an open-minded and ferociously hungry observer of the world around you as you take in all of the experiences and then share them with the world, The Stranger is a work of polar opposites, a masterclass on what it means to be a mortal and moral being, staring into the abyss with wise, wide, eyes wide open, a soul-bearing last will and testament of sorts, birthed from within a man who knows he only has a few more breaths left in him to share with generations to come what he not only believes really matters most to him, but what he wants the world to remember about him most. And with his final cinematic breath, I believe Satyajit Rai screamed his loudest and most profoundly personal work. So you didn't like it? <laughs> Yeah, I, I enjoyed it as well. This one was, all of his work have been really good so far. Yeah. Um, I think there's only one I didn't like. 
Oh yeah, oh, yeah, that was weird too. Yeah. I like that one. But everything um, from two his short film. Yeah. Uh, uh, to hero. So technically, we've seen obviously the three of poos. Three of poos. That one you didn't like, and then one I didn't like hero. Hero. And big then city. Big city, and then this, this one, one, and there's then the short film one? two. Okay, there's not another one though. Mm, no, I mean he did thirty three films, so we have a lot more to so do. So outside of uh, two's a short film, so we're not including right. the other one. So it's seven. Three. Uh, that was eight. The three, the three, the three Opu, yeah. The one I didn't like, yeah. Hero, yeah. This one, and big, city. Uh, big city, seven, seven. Okay, um, yeah, so seven down. About twenty-five more to go. Yeah, he has. He has yeah. a lot, but they've all been so. They've had their similarities in certain aspects, like in terms of like he likes to have he likes to he likes to have a message usually. In his oh words. yeah, he definitely likes to have a message. It's, I mean, similar, I guess, to like a Yushman likes to have messages in his films, right. but obviously him being way before and, you know, the filmmaker, he has a lot more control over what the messaging is and he's there a lot, a lot of times very profound. This one's very different as well because even though I think overall, I think either the here or the big city are probably my favorite. Yeah. One of those two. Um, this one, I, I, I loved this film as well and it was so different because of how it was made. This film was... I think I can only remember a score once, and I think it was at the end. Mm -hmm. Very, right. very, very small amounts of music, and I, there's he just love always in all of his films, but especially in this one, he just has no problem sitting there, sitting there, sitting there. Like when they're coming down the stairs at the end, yeah. No director in their right mind would just follow everybody down the stairs without talking and no music for that long. Yeah, but. Thankfully, yeah, he wasn't he in his right mind. No, no, he uh, it was, it was he, fantastic. Such a unique director, but yeah, he um, this one was all about dialogue and the story. Of, Could of, have been a of, play. Of, yeah, absolutely. It was just, and you were riveted about. It's like, I is this, is this? Yes, her uncle. Yeah, is it not her? Is uncle? it not her uncle? And you, he did such a good job of writing because you kind of, even though at times you're like, the husband's kind of a dick, right? But then also you like yeah, yeah, sometimes agree with them, right? Someone agree with them. Yeah, he's speaking some truth sometimes. Yeah, yeah. at times he's speaking truth, and then obviously uh, the uh, all the friends that came over at times it was it was <laughs> so <laughs> at times it was very funny. Like when they she had her like her actor friend come uh -huh. over, and it was just so weird and <laughs> so awkward. bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then the, the whole grilling scene was I thought really well done between so both those actors. Yes, uh, and that was what. Almost probably, it felt like 25, 30 minutes almost. Yeah. And they, like no score, and it was just a conversation between two people. No, nope. with with him getting up and walking and then coming back, and then him getting up and walking and, and coming back. back. That was it. And then the other two just sitting and listening the whole time. And the fact that you, you can, it, and it goes to show, it's all about your, your storytelling mm -hmm. and your acting. Yep. To keep you captivated yep. for a film, you don't need a whole bunch of stuff. <laughs> No, because it's about the human experience. Yeah. And, and I really see in The Stranger, the uncle, uh, he, he really was voicing everything that was inside. At the time of the filming of this, I know from the research, uh, Rai was not well and knew this was, was gonna, probably his last film. Okay. Yeah, he knew he was going to die when he made this film. And this was really very much, you know, if you, if you have that vantage point, it allows you that place of saying, okay, this is the last thing I'm going to be able to say to the world cinematically. And I really think he all had a lot of, to say. He had a lot to say. And all of those, all of those, you know, that, that argument scene in particular, the difference between tribal civilization and are they civilized? Are they not civilized? And the difference between science and it's mm -hmm. just, it's, it's it, great. Just so good. So well written. So, so good. So like, smart. The, so smart. It's a great line. He's like, okay, is it, is cannibalism civilized? Right. You said uh, no, but is dropping a nuke on an entire right, city exactly. civilized? Exactly. Is that civilized? Wink, wink. Uh, the United States. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it was. It was very. It was very and, poignant. What and the, the line of uh, so would you go to a shaman if you were sick? He said, "Well, I'm in the city, stupid. I'm not going to do that now." But I have availed myself of a shaman, and I was healed. Yeah. 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 It was a really. It was a really interesting conversation, and that was obviously the best part of. And I. Oh, the, what is his name? The, that yeah, the uh, what, what, is he played Dutt? the, the or, stranger, the lead legend. Dutt, yeah, is he relation to any of the Dutts, like the famous like Sanjay? No, okay, I didn't know. Yeah. Um, no, yeah. but but he, apparently, right like when, legendary. Right when he came on screen, he has 
I'd say the it factor. Yeah, he's very he's a very captivating actor. Very captivating. Even though the I other two I thought did really well, the 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 mom in particular, I thought probably the dad was probably the weakest of them. Even though I thought he did well. Yeah, but again, I didn't think he was weak. But no, of, I didn't the, think, of them, I agree. If I'm going like, yeah, who was I, the weak uh, one? Yeah, I agree. I guess it would be him, but right. he wasn't bad at all. Right. But in terms of like, so like he popped on screen, and you're like, oh. He, I, he can just tell. I really feel like the audience can most empathize with the little boy because we pretty much are that kid mm. wrapped and just listening to every word coming out of uncle's mouth. Mm -hmm. And I love the fact... Okay, I don't know about you, but when the movie was ending, when I found out that he had left a note, I was really concerned. Because at that point, I, I felt dying. Like, no, I thought everything was perfect at that point that we didn't know. And what I was hoping was, please don't admit who you are in this letter. <laughs> please, Rye, don't do this. Don't say, you know what, I was an imposter. You know, something like that. I did not see coming what's in that letter. Did you? Yeah. You did? Yeah. You always do that. Yeah. I love, I love, <laughs> I love that I get to have such naivete and ignorance because I get these beautiful shocks. Whereas, like, you and your wife are like, eh, it's not good. Well, I, I, I definitely saw him giving all the money to her. So, so you knew, but I didn't, oh, I, I, I thought he was going to die. Like, I thought he was dying. Oh. Oh. Okay. Like, I thought it was like, I'm dying. I just wanted to meet my family. Here's oh. the inheritance. Yeah, no, I didn't think that. That didn't come for fruition, but the the, the whole no. giving the money, I, I, I thought. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I didn't see it, and I love that. I also loved the the moment where it's the only really outdoor moment um, of... At the tribal? Yeah, the, the girls dancing, and then, the, and then she joined. She joined. It was so and, good. And there you've got yeah. two classes, two castes, two different religions, two different skin colors but unified together in that moment of humanity. It was very beautiful. Yeah, and um, there was, from the, from the start, I thought it was, it was really, she did, what's her name? Sorry. Uh, de Pancarde? De Pancarde? Is that the mom? Is that the mom? No. no. Mama de Shankar is the mom. Mama de, Mama de Okay, gotcha. Oh, oh, that's right, no, sorry. Okay, I can't tell, because yeah. the pictures aren't. <laughs> okay, that's yeah, a guy. Yeah, the is the guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Sorry. The gay is not the guy. We, uh, first time being introduced <laughs> to them, although I did find out some trivia about her, mm. that her uncle is Ravi Shankar. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you, Indrani. What a famous family. Nepotism? Yeah. God. Yeah. Ravi, what is it with the world? Ravi Shankar is just a product of nepotism. <laughs> <laughs> He's a well-known, like, renowned dancer in mm. like, all over the world. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. So she said what she said. Of course, Sachi Jirai was going to have her dance at some point. How yeah. could you not? Yeah, and that was a that was a great scene. And, and the end scene, as you were talking about, kind of just went on, and they let them that's, kind that's of right, do the man. entire. That's right. Ha he has no issue if it's done like it's like we just had obviously this problem with Pushpa, right? With just it, it was dragging, dragging, right? right? But obviously, it was this big spectacle film. But it dragged as opposed to this film, which is a intimate. This is just in a house, basically. But you're riveted for two hours. Yeah, it's the difference. And so it's, it's the filmmaker. It's the filmmaker. Time and on film. It. Time on film. Stagnation in and of itself isn't a bad thing. Static shots aren't a bad thing. It's the, it's the reason behind it and the forethought behind it. And that's why when you see something like Pushpa, you're thinking, this is dragging. Whereas you can watch a moment... Like the first time I ever noticed it with, with Satya Jirai was in the Opu trilogy mm -hmm. and he had so many different shots like the one where he just captured the dragonfly mm -hmm. and he's just letting it sit. It's the difference between a drag and a meditation. Mm -hmm. His stillnesses are meditations. Yeah, absolutely. And you don't want to leave those moments because you really feel the intention behind him. Every moment he's framing, you believe and can sense the intentionality behind the lens of the guy doing it that... I thought this through completely, and every single moment I've captured means something to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, yeah. When basically from the beginning, when she was on, when she came on screen, I thought I was, I could tell that she was really good at what she does as well. Yeah, um, and and she conveyed um, exactly what she was supposed to, and the. the she wanted to have a relationship. So this is a family member. She's never, and it showed obviously India it has very different approaches so because if this happened in america like who's this random uncle i've never seen in my life right like, what, exactly you can't stay at my house i don't exactly. know who you are yeah. <laughs> but I, I i loved i pointed this out at the end when i was talking about it with indrani because we will always talk 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 about films after we've watched them and uh, i i loved the aspect that 
this is very different in an Indian context than it would be in an American context for the reason you just stated, as well as this brilliant addition to this. He, he ties two things. He ties, it's, it's Satyajit Rai, and that's why I'm also glad we've seen this as number seven and not earlier on. Mm. Deeper appreciation for this film if you know something about him. And the way he was so well-rounded in his appreciation and love for both the West and the East. Having this be a stranger, he incorporated both an Indian thing and a Western thing, both culturally and religiously. Because there's a scripture in the, in the New Testament where Paul tells the church that you need to be nice to strangers because many of you have unwittingly entertained angels by doing so and you didn't realize you were doing it. Mm. And in India, the guest is God. Yeah. So those two things are blended together here in terms of the rationale for them. In America, it would be like, wow, screw you, pal, who are you? I don't. But they have to deal with the dynamic of, oh, it's a guest. That means a lot more and to an Indian. Family. A lot. And it's, and it's a possibly family, family member. member. The weight of that decision is so much bigger on an Indian yeah, household. It's something that I can't even really comprehend. I, right. I understand it because obviously we've been exposed. And exactly. I, I know it is. But like, if I heard at my age now that an uncle that I had met when I was two wants to stay at my house for a week, I'd be like, sorry, bro. You can... Yeah, be like, uh, don't know you, friend. Yeah. I mean, I can't confirm... And I can't confirm you're my uncle? Yeah. It's... Sorry, man. Obviously, it's different now. We have technology and all that. But still, yeah. even if I could confirm it, I wouldn't do it. Right. Because I'm like, I don't have a relationship. You can't stay at my house? Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Exactly. Uh, <laughs> but I, I loved that it remained that way and that it was... That she wanted that relationship so bad. She wanted so bad. And he was being the skeptic, which I totally get. And I, I related with him a lot, even though I thought he was being a dick a lot of the times. So, like, to her. Like, he was being condes quite condescending, condescending to her. Condescending of yeah. her. And I'm like, bro, like, chill. Oh, you poor little girl. <laughs> like, yeah, come on, pal. Women are dumb. Right. <laughs> but I loved the goodbye moment when she finally, in her tears, uh, calls him uncle. Mm -hmm. You can see that for her, she's reached that place of, you may not be my biological uncle, but I want you to be. Mm -hmm. And if you're not, I still wish my uncle were like you. So you are uncle mm -hmm. to me. And I like to think that maybe he wasn't and that maybe he did come with the idea to scam them and then realize they were such a beautiful family and decided not to. And I love that Satyajit Rai doesn't tell us what the intention is. He lets everybody come away from that with the sense of, was he the uncle? Now I know people will say, Oh, it was confirmed he's the uncle by that visit they made to the that was a funny scene with that guy too. Yeah. <laughs> I love I love that first scene when he's trying to verify who he is. And he says the word for air. I don't know what it is, but it sounds like Washington. And the guy says, Washington? <laughs> <laughs> he just at one point the guy's going into a story and the husband's just there with his head in his hands just like I can't stand this any longer mm -hmm. so that the comedy aspect of it too is pretty fun yeah and if you if you think about this film right I think there was they did a scene with I think they did it in in the house for the most part it was in like four rooms yes so it was like a hallway then there bedroom. Was bedroom. Then there was a kitchen. And the living room. And then the living room. And the majority of it was in the living room because there was two incredibly long scenes in both the, when, the, when the friends came over and then when the guy who was in terror yeah, yeah, yeah. came over. And those were basically the longest parts of the film. Yeah. Um, they, it was, it's in like, it's just in a house, obviously, until they, they leave. And I wonder how much of that was based on what he wanted to do with the telling of the story, which I'm pretty sure that was it contextually. But I also know, having done some research, you may have seen this, he was so unwell at the time that he was filming quite a bit of it in an, uh, an oxygen tank. Because oh. that's how he died, was from the, the years of smoking. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah. and he... he may have, in his writing of it, not only t took into consideration the intimacy of what he wanted to express, because I think it's spectacular in that setting. It's like a play. And you, you keep everything personal, familial, and no distractions, but just for basic working options, made it a lot easier for him. You could easily make this a play. I, it would make a great play. You could literally just take the script and put it on stage. And, it would be and you could even take this play and just 
can temporize it instead of talking about we've gone to Neptune and just take some of the things he's referring to and add a level of contemporaneity to it and it would work today. Do it with Nasserd and Shah. And... Yeah. <laughs> Sincerely, that yeah. would be beautiful. Yeah. Big B. Oh, yeah. Amazing. I would love to see this made as a current context and have that, someone like a Nasserd and Shah or an Amitabh Bakshan play the stranger. Or you could even keep it in Bengali and do the, the, the actor who played Bob. Bob. That would be to. beautiful as a tribute to Rai and just yeah. and do it in Bengali. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. I, I can't really, there was not really a negative to this film. No. Uh, There's one flaw and it's a completely excusable. That's why I almost didn't even bring it up. Mm. It's so, 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 so minimal. Mm. There was a moment where, and it's, it's kind of endearingly beautiful, where you can see the shadow of the boom. Oh, really? Well, yeah, it's well, a split second moment. It's it's early. It's around the moment where the funny friend has come to visit and he's okay. telling them the story about left and right. And uh, there's a shot that's kind of a farther establishing shot. And on the wall above them, you can see the boom. Not the boom itself. The shadow, the of, shadow the of the boom move. <laughs> and obviously he didn't catch it. Or maybe he did in the editing and he was like, dang it. But <laughs> other funny. than that, yeah, I don't find That's anything funny. wrong yeah, with the this, film. This film was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm glad we were able to get to it. Um, but let us know what the next Sachit Rai film should be, or the next Bengali film, classic, yes, classic. or modern. Uh, we need to get to a lot more uh, Bengali films. I think we've seen probably 12. I didn't check the list today. Well, if there's seven, this one. So I'd, I'd say probably around 10 to 12. 10 to 12. I'd say Bengali films. Yeah. Most obviously Sachit Rai. Um, how could how could it not be? And we still have yet to scratch the surface of all of his work. So nah. um, I think I think I think Jimmy has gone through like twenty five of his. Well, films. that wouldn't surprise me because they they did all last year because it was like a hundred years right of such it right right been a hundred I think yep and so they did like a whole bunch I think they yeah did. and that's all that's all I mean. That's all they do is watch movies. Yeah. So. Anyways, let us know what the next Sachi Rai and the next Bengali film and what you thought about this film down below. <laughs>